What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been on my channel before, this is about my 2009 Corvette Z06 that I am building purpose built for road course racing. Sebring Raceway, The Firm, Homestead, any other Florida tracks I can hit like Daytona and maybe further out if I feel like it's competitive. Now I am a new driver to this and this is a whole lot of car to get used to, but this is the car I chose because I also want to do some cars and coffees and some other events with the car. Um, and it's been a dream of mine to kind of own a car of this caliber. And I am pretty happy with this car so far. I've had it about five months, but as of the last two months, if you saw my previous video, if you haven't, I'll link it up above. You know, we really, we really faced a hard time with it about two, close to two months of working on getting the valve seal issue, what we assumed was a valve seal issue corrected. Um, as you can see, I'm back in the car. Car seems to be running fine. I'm taking it for its kind of test run here, kind of give you guys an idea of how it's performing. Uh, long story short, there was a lot of situations occurring between myself, the mechanics, the machine shop that really made the process a complete nightmare. Um, I learned a lot about the car in the process. I learned about previous owners, previous sellers. I did a lot of digging were able to speak to Cunningham Motorsports, which is now known as BRC Raceworks. And currently, you know, you know, they're not, they're not doing the same kind of repairs as they were prior and stuff like that, but they were gracious enough to kind of feed me some information about the car. And I do feel a new connection to the car and now knowing a lot more about its history. Um, with that being said, I'm out here on the road. I'm really just trying to get comfortable with trusting that the car is not going to have an issue or a failure or anything like that. You'll see what other failures I'm talking about in my previous video. But right now, I'm just trying to enjoy it again and go for a drive. So before all these situations happen with, you know, the whole Valsio issue, having to remove my heads, having to go through a couple steps, this thing was a complete monster. And I'm glad to say it's just as angry as it used to be. It just goes no matter what i do no matter what i show it it just absolutely goes temperatures are holding oil pressure is fantastic no sounds from the valve train really just running pristine now and i'm really really happy with that i've had the car for about a week now back from the shop and i've really struggled with the trust to get back on it but every time you drive it it just asked to go it's angry it's ready to dominate on any paved road that you put it on now, I do know this video is a little shorter than my other ones, you know, not too much detail, but you know, the, the reality was, it was just a notification guys, the car's back. Um, like and subscribe, share this. I really want to start putting some more emphasis into my videos, really putting out more content. I do have a couple more videos coming out about the car soon, but uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to try to hit a video a week if possible. Um, and yeah, follow the journey guys and, and provide any comments and feedbacks on anything you guys think I should do differently either to the car or when it comes to my racing, anything that you guys recommend that I should do before getting it on track for myself as a driver and also for the car. Um, I want both of us to be safe. I want the car to be happy while it's out on track. And most importantly, I want to be able to be uh, safe and come home to my wife and kid um, at the end of the day of having some fun. So like I said, like, subscribe, share this, and we'll talk in the next one. Peace.